he was not happy with the, the situation of Jadon Sancho and the way he was training during the week. He mentioned at Manchester United you always have to reach. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. The window is closed, guys, but things are still happening and we will discuss about Sergio Ramos, who is going to Saudi Pro League and the big situation of Jadon Sancho at Manchester United. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, it's a big day, a big week for Sergio Ramos who returns to Sevilla, the deal is done, I told you about this surprise proposal from Sevilla, they always denied this possibility uh, recently, the president Pepe Castro, the director Victor Horta, they always said uh, during the summer that it was not a possibility to go for uh, Sergio Ramos, so it was never something concrete, but now, in the last 24 hours, Sevilla decided to try to compete with Al Ittihad for Sergio Ramos. Of course, they can't offer uh, anything close to the incredible salary offered by Al Ittihad for Sergio Ramos to join the Saudi League, but Sevilla can offer something different. Uh, can offer, obviously, the love of their uh, fans, uh, the romantic return of Sergio Ramos to his boyhood uh, club. He returns after 18 years, and so Sergio Ramos decided to accept Sevilla proposal. The contract is ready, and so Ramos to Sevilla is a here we go. Despite approaches from Tarke, approaches from um, Alitihad, Ramos returns to Sevilla, and this is one of the big stories after the summer transfer window. Of course, Ramos can move because he's a free agent, and so he can do anything he wants, and he will play for Sevilla. Meanwhile, from La Liga to Saudi Pro League is the destination of Yannick Ferreira Carrasco. This was already a here we go if you're following me in the past few days, so nothing new, but just a confirmation because Carrasco is now in Saudi. So Carrasco arrived in Saudi overnight to complete his move to Al Shabab. Atletico Madrid will receive something close to 15 million euros. The player will sign a three-year contract and so Carrasco joins Al Shabab, leaving Atletico Madrid. These two moves are almost completed. Also, Kyle Walker will sign a new deal at Manchester City. We already knew that. We said that multiple times during the summer, rejecting Bayern proposal, staying at City and now he confirmed recently that his contract is set to be signed. One of the big stories of the weekend is about Jadon Sancho, because uh, the story is uh, really something to, to discuss, because uh, Eric Ten Hag didn't include uh, Jadon Sancho in Manchester United squad to face Arsenal over the weekend, and uh, after the game, Ten Hag mentioned that this happened uh, because it was a decision based on training. So he was not happy with the, the situation of Jadon Sancho and the way he was training during the week. He mentioned at Manchester United you always have to reach the level and this is why he was not selected. After a couple of hours, Jadon Sancho replied with a public statement, a very strong statement, by mentioning don't trust everything you read around or you see around about, about me, I'm fighting for this badge. So a very long statement when uh, Sancho was basically denying any story from Eric Ten Hag uh, on the training approach from the player, but he was mentioning that probably there are other reasons that he can't mention in public. So a really tense situation. And what I can mention is that this tension around Jadon Sancho was already there in the last two, three weeks. It's something that who's close to Manchester United knows very well because Eric Ten Hag, and not just Eric Ten Hag himself, but also other people looking to his staff, were not so happy with the level of training of Jadon Sancho, so they were expecting something different. But it's also true that Jadon Sancho's uh, position is very clear. He believes that there is something else not related to his training performances, and this is why he was not selected for the game with Arsenal. He doesn't want to mention that, as he said in a public statement, but the situation looks tense between Ten Hag and Sancho. Also, Ten Hag believes that he did his best for Sancho to help him in a difficult moment last season. So he wants Jadon Sancho to perform in the best way possible. Otherwise, he's not going to be part of the squad. But from Jadon Sancho's side, he insists. And obviously, guys, we journalists are not at the training ground to see the training sessions. So... That's the point. But speaking to sources, also who's close to Sancho, insists that he's doing his best and they believe that it was a different decision. Uh, we have to see how it will evolve. For sure, the situation remains tense. Uh, we can also confirm that from Manchester United, uh, the answer after the statement of Sancho was like, 
the message from the manager after the game was pretty clear and we stand with what the manager said in the press conference. So this is the PlayStation Cup side. Of course, now what is expected is a direct face-to-face -face discussion between Tanag and Sancho to clarify this issue already this week. So let's see how that will go, what kind of conversation there will be, and we will know more uh, about this Jadon Sancho situation. Let's see also how the player will react to the statement. I wanted to touch also on one more point, guys, and it's about Chelsea, because we had rumours about Chelsea for Jadon Sancho in the final weeks of the transfer window, when we had multiple rumours about wingers for Chelsea, probably all the wingers in the world were mentioned for Chelsea, and then I told you exclusive, Cole Palmer, and he was the player decided by Chelsea as the perfect player to sign in that position, but for Jadon Sancho, what happened with Chelsea? It was not something close, it was not a top target. The name of Jadon Sancho only came on the table when May United and Chelsea discussed about Cucurella. So there was the name of Sancho on the table uh, like a possible name to include in a swap deal with Cucurella to United and with Sancho to Chelsea, but was never something asked by Chelsea and was never something concrete or close or advanced. It was just a normal discussion, club to club. This is something that in football happens every time there is a swap deal. So you can propose different names and discuss different names, but was never something uh, concrete or close. So the answer on Chelsea side was always something by denying this Sancho story because they had a different top target and the target was Cole Palmer. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, starting with, of course, with Sancho, but also Carrasco, Sergio Ramos. I wait for your comments here as always. Like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.